guys, when you go ahead and pour this section, it says expect a fire proof. What I mean by that is when you pour, um, if a successful pour, the gases are going to need to get out of there. So expect to see some black smoke and some little higher flames out of this. Um, but keep pouring. If you don't keep pouring, your mold will collapse on itself and the sprue won't stay open to fill the cavity. So just keep pouring right through it, but uh, expect it and be ready to go. This section here, um, just go ahead and take the mold out. Uh, that drywall mud will clog up your sink probably over time, so just whack it on the ground after it's cooled down. Obviously, you should probably wear gloves here, but uh, your mold should look pretty clean. You get quite a bit better finish if you coat it in drywall mud, otherwise, you get kind of a sandy, coarse texture. I've only used play sand when I've been doing this, so you might get better texture if you had a better quality sand, but there's your steam, so watch out. Thanks for watching there. Uh, this is why you need to have that cush head pr uh, pressure tool on there. Uh, that came from buildyouridea.com. There's a guy that did a great in instruction manual on uh, lost foam casting. If you want more references, he'd do a great job there. I got some great tips from him for doing some of this. So um, hope you enjoyed it and good luck.